What has been, because yeah, you've done webinars, ads, all these things. What has been the most helpful keywords to hook them? It depends on, uh, you know, obviously depends on the business. You know, whenever you can use numbers, that's important, right? The biggest thing, again, is to like take it a step further. Um, I think a lot of times there's like a benefit and then there's an outcome. So I think like if the benefit is getting more leads, like like I think asking the next question being like, okay, what is what is getting more leads ultimately help you do? And it's like, maybe it's like, right. Well, generating revenue and like, what does generating revenue help you do? And it's like, makes you look like a, a star in front of your, your boss. Right. It's like, mm -hmm. okay, that's like, that's the real like reason we're going <laughs> for and being able to talk to that. Right. Like right. that maybe the, then maybe the, like how to be a rock star, <laughs> right. How to, how to like be a rock star for your boss using Google ads. Right. Then it's like, right, okay, right. now you're like, now you're talking to something deep. Right. The biggest thing is just taking it, taking it a step further. Um, Cause a lot of people just start at that first part. Right? right just like how to get leads right which which like is persuasive but that deeper stuff and if you know it then it's like okay like that's where you like you're right. gonna get someone's attention it's almost like you gotta hit their uh pressure point there's a lot going on right now with like supply chain disruptions i'm sure you've seen like the news with like the suez canal and like right. um maybe some of the port congestion in uh in long beach enhancing supply chain reliability supply chain resilience is a big thing in our business so like using those words um right. you know how to how to those improve are resilience. Words. Yeah, those those seem to tick with, with our audience. Resilient and adaptable. So out of all the demand generation strategies that you've done over the years, what has been the most effective strategy for you? Yeah, it, it really depends on, on the business. Right. A lot of companies I've worked with um, are heavily like account-based marketing plays. Um, it, we went after the the top end of, of the of the um, industry it was a finite market there weren't that many accounts so doing more account based um, strategies were successful at that so I guess if you're if you're working in a business where um, you know everyone in your market going after the the larger uh, customers is, is more is more profitable and beneficial to your business than going with an account based some account based marketing strategies I think is is the move and some of the ones that have worked well are um, are direct mail like I, like I mentioned there are some downsides to it because sometimes people will just take a meeting with you because they'll be like well you, you just sent me a gift so I'm uh, I feel obligated to <laughs> yeah yeah so that happens um, that one has worked extremely well it hasn't worked well now because most people aren't in, in the office but um that was another people, question I was going to ask you is how do you get their address when they're all working fully remote yeah, that, that, to be honest, it's been a struggle. And like, we tried it, we tried, um, there's now some of these tools are, um, they have an e-gift component now where like, you can like send them an email saying you like, we want to send you a gift and then like confirm your address and you can send mm -hmm. it. It didn't work well. I think people were just like, were like, what is this? And what, like, why are they, you know, like, yeah, this is yeah. a scam. If people go back to the office, that's like, that's a good strategy. And then the other thing we've been doing from, from an account-based strategy is we've been doing these round tables um, where we make them like very exclusive. So um, hmm. they're, you know, they're people having discussions. We bring in a speaker who's like very reputable and we tell, we've been telling our customers and this, this is the truth. Like, you know, we say, Hey, this is like an exclusive event. We're only inviting like, you know, VPs of supply chain um, at, you know, a top company, like this isn't for everyone. So like, mm -hmm. let us know, because we only have so many spots. And and then we also try to add that on with a really cool speaker to just like kind of show like, and this is your guys' webinars, right? Yeah, that worked really well. Um, yeah, I think, and I think like, you know, a lot of times in demand gen, you think, oh, I need like, I need like 1000s of people here. But sometimes you don't, right? Like if you can get no. like 15 massive accounts to show up, right? Like, and you you know, you close five of them or like that. It's a big, it's a big win. Right?